It's environmental right. That's all you can call it. They have just destroyed our way of life completely. Everything that the mountains meant to us has been destroyed. Since this land got disturbed by the coal and timber companies, we don't have hardly anything left. Just southwest of our nation's capital, one of the greatest human rights and environmental tragedies in American history is taking place at this very moment. Mountaintop removal is a form of coal mining that's designed from the start to take the coal miner out of coal mining. The companies use explosives to blow up the tops of the mountains and they dump the rock into the valleys, totally burying the streams. What's left behind is a moonscape. They say it's uh, more economical. They take a handful of men with equipment and accomplish in a matter of months what an underground mine would take years with a lot of men to do. It's providing cheaper energy for our society, a cheaper cost, big profits for coal companies, a few people are getting jobs, but it's a one-shot deal. And those mountains are, uh, and those streams are not going to really recover. People all across America are using the electricity uh, that comes from mountaintop removal coal. It is not a big percentage of our electricity. Our estimates are that it's around 4%. We could easily generate that electricity from clean, renewable sources like wind and solar, like energy efficiency and conservation. If you can imagine 450 mountains blown up in four states, uh, it, it's impossible to see it from the ground and it's impossible to wrap your mind around it unless you can get up in the air. So we decided to uh, use Google Earth and Google Maps to communicate the scale of a very dramatic uh, environmental problem. When we started using Google Earth and we started using Google Maps to present this issue to people, it completely transformed our work. It completely transformed the way people reacted to the issue, and it even changed the way that we thought about how to, uh, how to educate the public. When we launched our ILoveMountains.org campaign, we had about 77 co-sponsors on the bill that we're working to pass in Congress, the Clean Water Protection Act. We now have over 30,000 people signed up on I Love Mountains. We have over 150 co-sponsors on our bill in Congress. And we have well over 200,000 people who've watched the videos on the site. And I do believe, to a large degree, it's our creative use of Google Earth and Google Maps that has brought in all those supporters. One of the amazing things about having Google Earth or Google Maps as a centerpiece uh, of an outreach effort is that people can explore it for themselves. It includes mine site tour with all the stages of mountaintop removal. It includes some featured mountains that have been blown up that you can come and you can learn about. Um, it also includes some before and after imagery of these mountains because people were always asking us what the mountains look like before. So you can see that whole entire process uh, with your own eyes right there in Google Earth and Google Maps. Mountaintop removal coal is currently providing a small percentage of our nation's electricity. Using Google Earth and Google Maps, people can actually type in their zip code and they can see the mountaintop removal mines that are providing electricity to their homes and businesses. We chose to use Google Earth and Google Maps because for one, you don't have to have a lot of resources to use them. The platform is already there, the globe is there, the map is there. It's just a matter of putting in some features. The use of Google Earth and the use of Google Maps has been, in my opinion, the central tool that has excited new people and allowed us to get thousands of new people interested in our work.